body bags were whore lies. Now take my bitch. She won't complain about shit cause she's my hoe. She don't belong to a trick, so when you fuck her and give her all your cash, I get paid. I put my foot in her ass, I won't marry the bitch And give her half, I get mohead And then I laugh at that one bitch shit I got a gang of hoes, I get freak ass lick these balls and toes Now stupid little bitches get tossed If they don't realize that I'm the motherfucking boss Come on down and get your ass pinched And if you talk shit, get your ass lynched Cause I'm the B, the I, the T, the C, the H The K, the I, the L, the L, the A Sean B, a boy that's big Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to week 66 here on Body Bags. I am your host, Moon616, and thank you once again for dropping in, guys. Alrighty, it is Sunday, and yes, it is my turn to review a film. Uh, yeah, you know, Vampire Week. Um, I did another fill in review for Steve yesterday, and uh, definitely check out that film, Kiss the Damned. Uh, that's a really good film. Um, now, like I said before, vampire films, especially modern vampire films, are so hit and miss. Probably one of the most hit and miss subgenres of horror films for me, personally. Um, with that said, uh, I went with this one today. Uh, I believe this is from 2012, and it is called Terror of Dracula. Um, ultimately, this is basically just a retelling of the original Bram Stoker's book. Um, it's just another adaptation, and it's pretty close to the book, actually, I gotta say. Um, you know, and with that said, getting to the plot of this one, uh, it's basically centers around your main character, Jonathan Harker. Um, he has been, uh, appointed to go up to, um, you know, this castle out in the woods to do some, uh, real estate with, uh, Count Dracula. Uh, so his company sends him up there, and ultimately he does not come back. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, meanwhile, back at the village, you've got um, a plague kind of starting to hit certain people and stuff. Uh, Quincy, or, yeah, Quincy Morris's wife, Lucy, uh, falls kind of victim to this disease. They don't really know what the hell's going on with these people. Um, and uh, she ultimately dies. So he calls in, you know, Dr. Van Helsing to and start to investigate what the fuck is going on here. Um, of course, um, Jonathan has not returned from doing his real estate business with the Count up in the woods. And whatnot, and um, yeah, of course they've got to, you know, basically get together, and um, along with the other doctor who is also interrogating another guy. You know, you got all these separate little situations happening at the same time about some grisly murders that he committed. So these doctors get together and they basically go on the hunt and try to figure out what the fuck is going on with this plague, where Jonathan is and stuff, which ultimately leads them to Dracula. Um, yeah, we all know the plot of Dracula. Um, now, my thoughts on this one. Uh, this is a really, really low-budget film. Uh, it's shot really low-budget, but I have to say they did a pretty good job with the adaptation of the Dracula story. Um, with that said, you know, the acting's pretty good, and I was pretty impressed also with the sets used in this film and the costumes and stuff. Like I said, it's you can tell it's a really low-budget film, but I think ultimately they did a pretty good job with what they had for budget and stuff. And, you know, it looked pretty good on screen, I have to say, you know, not all the acting was top-notch, but a lot of the characters were really well acted out and stuff. I gotta say, I didn't really care for, for uh, like, the Count in this at all, the guy that played him. I don't know, man, there was something about him that was just kind of bugging me a little bit. I didn't really care for him too much. I really liked uh, Jonathan Harker, um, you know as Jonathan Harker, you know, he's kind of telling the story, you know, like, as he's, you know, all consumed and all crazy and shit like that in the film. Um, his acting in those parts are not the best, not the best, but when he's actually at the, you know, the Count's um, castle and stuff, I think he does a pretty good job in the film. Uh, you know, it's ultimately not very bloody or gory, you know, um, at all. They, they kind of stick, like, very much to the book in this, um, with that said, I haven't actually read the book in such a long time, and I've seen so many adaptations of the Bram Stoker Dracula story that I can't even remember what exactly was in the book and what wasn't in the book, so <laughs> excuse my ignorance right now, but I just, I honestly can't remember because there's so many adaptations, but we all know that. Um, you know, ultimately, this one right here, it's, uh, it's a film, if you've never seen a Dracula adaptation, I would definitely recommend this because it does, it's pretty true to the book, I have to say, from what I can remember. Um, 
you know, uh, but as for the people that have seen all, you know, the Dracula adaptation and stuff, this one really doesn't bring a lot of new, you know, new stuff to the table, which is kind of unfortunate. But, you know, with that said, it still is a decent film. It's just nothing new. And, you know, I'm, I was kind of looking for, like, maybe a little twist or something like that, but this one is pretty true. Um, you know, like I said, this one's being really low budget. They didn't uh, have any scenes with, like, the boat, you know, bringing over the dirt and, you know, all the stuff with the boat that, that you see in, like, Nosferatu and stuff like that. Uh, they didn't have any of that in here, which was kind of expected because, you know, obviously budget constraints and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, it's not a bad flick. I just, I just don't see the... You know, honestly, I don't see the point in, in redoing the story over and over and over again if you're not going to, you know, kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I do have to give them props, so especially for the costumes. I, I think it was really, you know, really well done. So not really a whole lot to say about it. You know, I mean, it's the Dracula story, and it really is the Dracula story adapted quite, uh, you know, on point with the book, really. So, you know, if I had to rate this adaptation, I would probably give it about a six and a half out of ten. I do give them props, so like I said, costumes, um, some of the acting is pretty good, and you know, this one right here is actually surprisingly long. It runs about a hundred minutes. You know, for a low budget film, that's actually quite long. Um, I think in parts that they probably could have cut out, they didn't quite need. Uh, but you know, that's just my my opinion and stuff. But it does drag a little bit at parts. You know, it's. Maybe it's because I know the story so well, but, ah, I'm just blabbling on now. But Terry Dracula, you know, check it out at your own risk. But, like I said, it's really bringing nothing new to the Bram Stoker story. So, ah, it is what it is. Six and a half out of ten for Vampire Week. I'm glad I finally watched that one. I've had it in the collection for a long time. So, thank you, Vampire Theme Week. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, uh, be back next week. Um, I believe I'm filling in again for Steve next week. Also, so I don't know what the theme week is, though, but uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out, homies.